A local llama named Jay has become an internet sensation. We'll tell you more about the Buffalo Creek Llamas Farm and Llama Adventures up next. I'm here today with the owner of Buffalo Creek Llamas and Llama Adventures, Scott Dyke and Jay the Llama. Thank you both so much for joining me on the Sweet Buffalo Show. Welcome, thank you for having us. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. This is Jay the Llama. He is an internet sensation. He stands in weddings. His last wedding went viral, so yeah, he's uh, pretty popular right now. Standing up as a groomsman for the whole ceremony, that even impressed me that he stood there that whole time and <laughs> barely moved at all. And because he likes to show off, so he likes applause. So at the end of the ceremony, when they introduced the bride and groom, everybody applauded and he stood up and he, he thought they were applauding for him. So well, they, they were, <laughs> they most certainly were. <laughs> well, awesome. And this particular llama is a champion? Yep, many time champion, yes. So what, what does it mean to be a champion? for a llama? Um, there's two main aspects that he's champion in. There's what they call a confirmation class where you're looking at how the animals are put together and how they move. And there's what they call performance classes, which are obstacle courses. So you obviously love llamas and want to bring the joy that they bring to others um, to the community. So what is, what is it that makes llamas so special? Great temperament, um, very versatile, um, easy to care for. They're just like the perfect animal, so I love them. We have 33 right now. Wow. And you have a farm, Buffalo Creek Llamas. Right, so when right. did the farm open? Yeah, we established in 1999 with our first couple of llamas. Um, family has grown. We're now at 33 mm -hmm. with a few babies on the way yet. Started showing a couple of years after we got them and, and have done really well at showing um, some of the top llamas in the country on our farm right now. And how old is Jay? Jay's 12. Wow. And how long do llamas usually live for? Um, typically, 20 to 25 years is considered normal life expectancy. His uncle is 20 years old. He's our oldest one right now. Wow, so it's a family farm. Yep. <laughs> and these llamas are very well cared for. Tell me more about Llama Adventures, which is a new venture um, through Buffalo Creek Llamas. Um, yep, Llama Adventures, we offer a number of different adventures. Um, llama hikes is our most popular adventure where people can come and hike through the woods with a llama. So usually Jay and I are leading the pack. We do what we call a, a farm visit if somebody's not capable of doing a hike or smaller kids or whatever and they don't want to drag them through the woods. They can come and do that. They still get to lead a llama and feed the llamas, meet the babies, hang out with llamas and learn about llamas. We do host events at the farm too, birthday parties, team building. So pretty much, yeah, anything that you can we, we want to be flexible, so I need to accommodate whatever the needs of, a, of the client is. So you're flexible? Yep, very awesome. much so. Well, I definitely want to go on a hike with, with Jay one day. Well, uh, we're going to show our audience some tricks that Jay knows today, right? Yep. All right, so we look forward to that. Step up. There you go. Wow. So Jay likes taking everything to the next level. Shake. So he steps on a bucket and shakes hands. Wow. That is so cool. Good job. Awesome. He's, he's looking for a treat. That's what he's looking for. He's like, I did it. Well, you're going to get one, Jay. So a lot of times in a performance class, um, they have to step into something. That's not something as a prey animal. They don't like the feeling of their feet being trapped. Um, Jay, focus here. Come on, step in. In. So for him to get in something that <laughs> that high and that narrow um, is pretty challenging for a llama, but he does it, no problem. Great job, Jay. Now, can you remember how to do this one, Jay? Garbage. <gasps> Jay recycles. More. Jay, garbage. <gasps> Wow. One more. So he helps keep the barn clean. I see that. That's too cool. My kid won't even clean his room, and Jay's over <laughs> here recycling. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Cush. Cush. There you go. Wow. So again, he, I've seen a few llamas that can little cush on command. That's called their cush position. That's typically how they lay. Um, but Jay likes taking everything next level. 
Oh, he's way ahead of me again. Okay, there you go. Oh. So he'll put his feet in and out on command. Get in. Jay, sleep. Wow. That is Boy. so cool. There must be so much work was go into training llamas. He's exceptionally smart, so he picks up new things. We do clicker training with them. Um, so he learned the game when he was very young. So every time we want to do something new, he knows there's something he's got to do to get his reward. And well, he is a champion. <laughs> So that's just some of the special stuff that he does. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that oh, with us. You're welcome. He's amazing. For more episodes of the Sweet Buffalo Show, visit Sweet Buffalo on all our social platforms for sweet stories worth sharing. <laughs>